Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I am so excited to be talking about a brand new brand that I, well, I've known about for quite a while, but it's a brand that has caught my attention because it's now available in the UK finally and it's a brand that you can get in the UK through Feel Unique and through Boots.com. They are vegan, clean, cruelty free and gluten free. They did a revamp from what I read as of 2020 and the brand that I'm going to talk to you about today is Bite Beauty. I've picked up a few items from Bite Beauty. I picked up five of their lipsticks, two of their blushes which can be used as an eyeshadow as well as a blush and I also picked up their mascara which I've heard a huge amount about that I'm really really excited to try so today we're going to go through the five lipsticks I'm going to show the lipsticks on my lips and then we're going to do some arm swatches and we're going to do some blush swatches as well as blush on, on my cheeks so you can see that and on my eyes if I can do that and then we're going to test out the mascara so I really hope you enjoy this video today. so first of all I just wanted to show you the lipstick so I've picked up five of the Bite Beauty Power Move soft matte lipsticks and I picked a selection of colors that I think you're gonna like I picked up tamarind harissa sugar buns juniper and hot tomato and to be honest i really had trouble deciding which ones to pick because they all appeal to me and they all look like they would go really well with my skin tone i also picked up the two daycation bite beauties whipped blush and the two colors i picked up were melon mojito and hibiscus slush and those are quite different so you can see this one leans more towards the purple this one's more like a corally peach i'm really excited excited to see how this looks on my cheeks and also I'm excited to see this packaging because I've heard that it looks a bit like Pac-Man so if you are familiar with Pac-Man back in the day when we used to have old school arcade games then I think this might relive some of your memories and the final thing that I picked up was the Bite Beauty Upswing full volume mascara with a berry wax I've heard a lot about this mascara well one of the reasons I made this purchase was I was familiar with Bite Beauty way back when I think they were in Sephora I may have picked up a lipstick when I was either in Thailand or Australia but I picked up this lipstick it's definitely more satin from what I remember to the soft mattes but they reformulated everything I think they had a huge revamp from what I'm aware Bite Beauty is owned by LVMH as well as they are owned by Kendo so Kendo own Fenty Beauty as well from what I'm aware and they also own Marc Jacobs so let's give this a go today and see how these colors look so the first color I I thought we could try today together is tamarind. The ingredients include cocoa butter which helps moisturize and condition lips, tapioca pearls mixed with fatty acid waxes creating the velvety matte finish for creamy comfortable wear. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. So let's look at tamarind first. This is a real beautiful color. So this is what the packaging looks like. You've got the bite logo which is written just there and it's very similar to the old collection that they used to have on the bullet of the lip Stick. you can see that there is the bite cosmetics logo there as well you've got a lovely pointy tip let's start with the color tamarind So this feels really moisturizing. I've just put it on my lips now. It has that soft matte finish. In fact, it reminds me a little bit of the Powder Kiss that MAC has. It has that kind of formula where it feels like it's there, but it's not there. It's kind of that light as air formula. Similar to even the NARS one that I have, which is that kind of matte, light whipped matte finish. However, this is in a bullet form. This does a little bit remind me of the recent lipstick that I bought from Suku. I think it was 101 that I purchased from Suku. I'd like to see how similar it is because it does look quite similar, but it is a very, very pretty colour and this is Tamarind. I 
I'd say that it's a really lovely kind of nude color that you could wear every day. So it's definitely a really lovely everyday color, really complements my skin tone. So this is tamarind. Okay, so let's move on to the next color which I picked and this is called Harissa. So this is the color Harissa and it's a lot more deeper than tamarind as you can see. And yeah, it has a gorgeous sort of tone to it. Really, really lovely. So let's try Harissa. So this is Harissa and as you can see it's definitely leaning more towards the kind of orangey browny side. This is lovely too. So I've just been removing the lipstick and just so you know, it doesn't stain that much at the moment, maybe because those colors are quite fair. We're moving into slightly more warmer colors now. So let's see how this fares. So the next color we're going to do is one of the popular ones I was told, which is sugar buns. So this color is sugar buns. And as you can see, sugar buns is a lot more cooler in tone to the other two that I just tried. Let's try sugar buns. So this is sugar buns and this one is definitely more of a sort of cooler pink, which I am also drawn to. It is really lovely and just feels lovely on the lips. So this is sugar buns. Okay, so the next color is called Juniper. And as you can see, the previous lip color has stained a little bit, but I think we're okay. Let's look at Juniper together now. So this is the color Juniper. This is a little bit deeper than the previous color, which was a little bit more lighter and cooler in tone when it came to the pink. It will be interesting to see how this comes out. So this is the color Juniper. So definitely more of a brighter pink, definitely more of a summery vibe, which I really love too. So this is Juniper. So the final color that I picked up was Hot Tomato and I love reds. So for me, this was really appealing. So let's see how this looks. This color is Hot Tomato and it's gorgeous. It's got like a bluey undertone to it, which I think will suit a lot of skin tones. So this one is Hot Tomato. This is a really pretty color. What's interesting about this is the more you put on, the more intense it gets and also the nicer it looks. This is hot tomato. It's a very pretty color. Okay, so I have the color tamarind on, on my lips because I wanna try the Melon Mojito Vacation Whipped Blush with Papaya Extract. And I think that because it's got that kind of orangey tone to it, it would look really nice with the Melon Mojito Blush. 
I believe this sort of has a highlighter effect as well, but let's just see what it looks like opening the packaging now. And I think you'll see what I mean when I was talking about Pac-Man earlier. So this is the packaging. You've got the Bite logo written at the top here. And then you've got the color Daycation, which is written on the back. I'm just gonna twist it. This is what it looks like. Probably give it a bit of a shake. And once I've shaken it, I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand. So it comes out, just so you know, the consistency is a bit whipped cream-like. I think that's the way they described the texture. So you can see it's not running at all. It is like whipped cream. So to control what I have, I'm gonna take a little bit of the texture here, use my finger, and I'm gonna dab it just on my cheek, like so. And this is the color Melon Mojito. And that's really cute, I really like that. I'm just gonna do the other side now. What I love about this is it has this sort of highlighter effect as well, so this will be really good if you were going on holiday and you just wanted sort of, I guess an item that would do everything or you could use it when you're at the gym or when you're just in a hurry where you don't have time to apply layer upon layer of blush or highlighter. I love that color on me. It really suits my skin tone. One of the things they said you could do is I'm just going to take a tiny bit more and I'm going to try and use it as a eyeshadow. So I'm just going to dab, squeeze a little bit like that much and then I'm going to try and dab it on my eyelids. So I'm just going to take the colour, again use my finger. It has a cooling sensation just so you know when you put it on. This is a kind of multi-purpose product I really like when I'm going away. So it's really nice to know that you can use it on your eyelids as well. I put some on my eyelids as well and literally just dabbed it with my ring finger. So this is the color that's on my lids. And then I've put the color on my cheeks as well. And it's really given me a lovely, lovely glow. So to complete this look, I thought I would take out their mascara. This is the mascara I picked up and I'm gonna use this. This is in the color Solid Black. I think it only comes in one color. It says here, volumizing, lengthening, lifting, curl enhancing, smudge resistant, intense color. Turn your lashes up. Instant dramatic volume meets high performance wear. The tube is huge and then it says bite on there and then let's have a look. The mascara wand is huge. What this says to me is I should get a great finish with this and it should really volumize my lashes. So I've taken off some of the product off the wand and I'm just gonna go in. Wow. That's impressive. Can you see the difference between that eye and that eye? It's definitely giving me more volume and lengthening as well. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Wow. Guys, can you see that? Whew. It's definitely helped to boost my lashes big time. That's really opened up my eyes, I love that. So finally, we're gonna go in with the last blush that I bought, which was Hibiscus Blush. And this one has that kind of maroon kind of color. I'm not sure yet which lipstick to pair this up with. So I'm gonna do the blush first, and then I'm gonna sort of have a little feel and decide whether I have the right color. I think I might go for one of the pinks. So I might go Juniper on this one. Let's see how this looks. So again, you get the lovely Pac-Man packaging. 
and then you've got the sticker on the back so literally I'm just going to twist it again to open it and again you've got this dispenser and then I'm going to squeeze the colour onto my hand a lot more came out than I thought but that's okay we can use the rest of the colour to try it on my eyes as an eyeshadow let's try this on the cheeks first So this colour is so lovely. It's quite powerful in the sense that it's got that kind of purple tone. Once you put on the lipstick, it definitely will be a better combination. I'm just going to apply Juniper now. So this is with Juniper on and I think they really complement each other. You get that brightness, that sort of hot pink from the lips and then you get the blush which has got this lovely glow to it. I wouldn't necessarily put it on your eyes if you already had an eyeshadow but if you want to use it as a multi-purpose tool then you can definitely, like I've done, I put it on my eyes and I really hope you, you like this. Very different to the other look but they are quite different once you see them as swatches. So this is a completed look with the eyeshadow, with the blush and one of the lipsticks in Juniper. So I just wanted to show you the arm swatches of the five Bite Beauty lipsticks that I purchased. So the first one is Tamarind, Harissa, Sugar Buns, Juniper and Hot Tomato. So they are all quite different and I'm really pleased about the choices that I made for these lipsticks. The first colour that I did up here, which was Tamarin, which is from the Bite Beauty. Then I took 101, 102 to compare. And as you can see, they are very different, the three of these shades. And then I took the fourth colour, which was Harissa from Bite Beauty, which is deeper than the other shades. And then I took number five, which is the Suku 05. And as you can see, they are all quite different. When you move to the pinks, I took Sugar Buns and then I took number two and number three from Suku. Then the final one was Juniper in Bite Beauty. I think that there is a close match between the Sugar Buns from Bite Beauty and the Suku one, which is number three. I think they are probably the closest when it comes to a sort of dupe. I just wanted to show the arm swatches for the two blushes. The top one is Melon Mojito and the second one below is Hibiscus Blush. So as you can see this one is definitely more corally, corally peachy, orange and this one is more kind of purple. Really, really lovely. So these are the two swatches. So I just wanted to give you my verdict on the Bite Beauty. I really, really love the lipsticks. The lipsticks are very much, you know, soft matte and create this gorgeous sort of finish. You can use your fingers if you like when you apply the lipstick if you want it to be a little bit more like a blurred effect or you can go in a few times, which I did, to get the pigment. The pigment showed immediately as I put it on but I just wanted to fill my entire lip with the colour. But I really did like the lipsticks and I love the colour choice 
and I can't wait to try some of the other colors. The mascara was fantastic, really opened up my eyes. I think with the blush, I felt that I had to build it up a little bit to get the color to show. I was just expecting more in terms of pigmentation as soon as I put it on. The Melon Mojito is probably better suited to my skin tone. I do love this kind of purpley shade as well. And in fact, I could use the cool lipstick as well that I bought to go with this particular blush. I love the pieces that I picked up. There are so many things from Bite Beauty that I could pick up. I was interested in their foundation, but today it was really just to show you how these lipsticks look, as well as the blush and the mascara. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Let me know your comments and your thoughts, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.